Commissioner from Lake Alfred in Polk County is charged with possession of child pornography. 90 year old Charlie Lake has been involved in local politics for more than a decade. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is live in Lake Alfred tonight where everyone from colleagues to neighbors say they are in absolute shock over this, Eric. Yeah, Courtney, shock, disappointment, disgust. No shortage of adjectives tonight here in Lake Alfred where colleagues and neighbors are now beginning to learn the details of the allegations being made against longtime commissioner and one time mayor Charlie Lake. I am finding probable cause on each of the counts. At his first appearance in Polk County Court, Lake Alfred City Commissioner Charlie Lake stood silent. The 90 year old facing multiple charges of possession of child pornography. I'm a little hard of hearing, so I'm not sure what you just said. Do you want an attorney point? Yes. The arrest report says a cyber tip led Polk County deputies to Lake's computer IP address and roughly 300 images of children believed to be between the ages of 5 and 10. The same report quotes Lake confessing to downloading and viewing the images for years now. Regardless where it's at, but certainly uh, in our own city, it's absolutely shocking. Co-workers and colleagues like Lake Alfred Police Chief Art Bodenheimer, who's known Lake for 15 years, says they are beyond disappointed. Shocked, I think I think that's the word. Um, you know what I mean? I have kids, I have grandkids, and uh, protecting them, you know, hits home. In his Lake Alfred subdivision, neighbors, some with children, called the news chilling. You know, all the kids in the neighborhood, it's definitely scary. Tyler Hernandez grew up in this same neighborhood, two houses away from Lake. Now she's got two young children of her own just across the street. It's crazy to hear, you know, that someone you've lived pretty much all your life, you know, was doing stuff like that. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd was out of town, but said in a statement, it's incredibly disappointing when a community leader becomes involved in such a disgusting crime. There are no indications that any of the images that have been discovered are from any local children. But my detectives, who are simply the best at what they do, are looking into that. It is nice to hear that it's not anyone you personally know, not that it, you know, makes a difference. It's still scary for, you know, the other families that were involved. The judge said bond for Lake at $5,000 per count. That's 300 counts. He also appointed him a, a, an attorney, uh, said he couldn't afford one of his own, so he will have a public defender. And if he is able to make bail, uh, he will be at home under house arrest with a GPS ankle monitor. Guys, back to you. And Eric, we know that Lake Alfred is a tight community. You also talked to this city. So what were the reactions from the leaders in Lake Alfred? Well, they were shocked also. They said they had no idea that this investigation was taking place. They say they are now cooperating in any way that they possibly can. But they've also reached out to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, they say, and the state attorney's office for some guidance in all of this. Live tonight in Lake Alfred, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Eric,